for listening to the live evidence of Jeff Shepherd. Uh, we've just concluded the regular questioning um, where John Warrington has Are been. Sure? Are you sure? I mean, I'm just, yeah, I've just had, that's just Jessica from a distance going, you sure? Are you sure? I mean, essentially, this has been exactly what the question has been like for most of this afternoon. Uh, there's been a great deal of questions about. Um, the shotgun that Jeff Shepard owned in early uh, 1995, which was found in the police raid in the May of that year on his birthday, 28th of May 1995, uh, and resulted in him being uh, sentenced to seven years in prison um, for possession of a firearm and other uh, items for the use in doing criminal damage. Um, the questioning was very circular. Um, we had a lot of repetition of the same questions, um, in some cases not even reworded, um, often with the phrase, are you sure that, before the question was asked again, and again, and again. Um, there was a real attempt to try and catch out Jeff um, for some small detail of his ownership of the, of the shotgun, where he got the shotgun from, what his plans were with the shotgun, plus a, a long litany of hypotheticals. I've just noticed Evelyn has come out to join us. Evelyn, what do you think of, uh, of this afternoon? Repetition, afternoons? repetition, repetition. It's like as if they were trying to to catch him out, mm. or you know, like sort of maybe he didn't have plans with that shotgun, and it's like, and he was he really got bored with him mm. with it himself. So yeah, mm. I'm gonna repeat myself. I've already told you this. Why mm. are you keeping up, keep asking me the same question? Mm. And it's like they were really like, you know, like sometimes you feel like you're in a courtroom rather than in an inquiry. Mm. Uh, and I guess they have to do that because in fact it is like, you know, it's a criminal thing to own a shotgun. But then, you know, like they, they kind of wanted, they, they tried to have him say that he was planning to shoot someone and that he wasn't. Mm. I mean, they, they said actually well, more than just shoot someone, it was that it was murder. Yeah. That he was planning on murdering Professor Colin Blakemore, who was a very high profile vivisector at the time. Um, I mean, quite interestingly, Matt Rayner says that he did not report that, that he had no way of knowing that, that that's not something that Jeff Shepard had ever discussed with him. But that, you know, that Professor Colin Blakemore was public enemy number one to anti vivisection protesters at the time, which, I mean, is a, a well known fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean that. No, tens, I mean, tens of people walking, around, dozens of people walking around with plans to, do, right, to exactly. kill him. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, it, it would be the, 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 the similar thing would be if like an anti-Palestine protester was found with a gun, and it was like we put in the report he planned to shoot Netanyahu. I mean, yeah. it's just like kind of you know who's the biggest name? Yeah. Let's, let's slap that in the report. You know. Nah, it was like really, really. Yeah. I don't know. I, I thought it was really building up to something, like I said before. Sure. But, um, <laughs> build up didn't go, it just stretched longer and longer and longer, sort of <laughs> bubble cum until it was gonna <laughs> explode into your face. It was, uh, I don't know. I don't know why we're here again until six. Yeah. Um, we, we're still waiting. So we're on the 20 minute break there to see if there's any further questions for Jeff Shepard. Um, John Warrington, the barrister, was asking the questions on behalf of the inquiry, said that he wanted to leave it open whether he had any further questions. I mean, like, seeing how much he repeated his first set of questions, God knows. Like, I mean, like, is he going to ask the same thing again? You know, I mean, that's, that's what I would assume. You know, are you really sure? Are you really sure? Jesus. So as if, and I still think he comes across as honest. Mm, yeah, he like, does. I think so. Yeah. Whatever the topic is, yeah. he says, "Yeah, I had a shotgun. Yes, I, you know, yeah. I, I bought it. I don't." And he, you know, he also repeatedly said, "I don't know what the state of my head was no. at that point because soon after I decided I was going to drop out." It was, uh, I mean, also, and we should repeat, he was put on trial for the ownership of that shotgun. Yeah, you know, uh, thirty years ago. Um, he was found guilty and sentenced to seven years. I mean, anything that could have been ex like explored about his intentions with that shotgun would have been explored at that time. Yeah. Um, you, know, you said, like, oh, I suppose they have to because it's a criminal thing on the shotgun. I, mean, I do not yeah, believe no, for a no, second that John Warren needs to do we, that. We have to sort of remember that this mm. is this is a public inquiry. It's mm. a, it's a, it's it's the undercover officers that are. Mm. 
you know, like investigated mm. here, and mm. not as mu not that much. The mm. people who were spied on. Yeah. So it's not even like okay. So they had a re sort of justification. That's not mm. the issue anymore. So it's like. I really don't like this kind of line of no. questions. It's shit. And it's shit. And it's, it's really, really shit. It's, it's really, really boring. It's, like sit and it's horrible. Boring. It's horrible. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's really unlikable. It leaves a bad taste in the mouth. Yeah. Anyway, we better go back in. There'll be more questioning. Oh, this JC's there. That's John Curtin, who was mentioned earlier. Hi, John. Um, <laughs> they talked about you. Your ears burning. Uh, you were called being called a veteran animal rights protester <laughs> in the early 90s. Given that's over 30 years ago and you're still doing it, I, what, what does that make you now? <laughs> um, love you. Uh, all right, cheers, people. Uh, we'll be, I'll be back with like a, um, a recap of the day on Facebook, which I'll then post on Twitter, like everything else, as usual. And then there's a, 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 a Twitter Spaces this evening at 7. Please join us for that. Cheers.